Whew. How's it going? You alright? Hey, Rick T Outdoor Adventure, we're up at mountains again today. Uh, I've been tagged recently in a Shows Your Noodles video, so we'll cook a few noodles while we're up here. I don't mind a tag, I enjoy getting a tag, it's good. It's good that we're all uh, having cracked together in uh, YouTube community, bushcraft and mountains and what have you, just outdoor stuff, so we'll do a bit of that. I'm also going to have a look at uh, an Examine stove while we're up here. You've probably used them before. You get them in the X Army ration packs. We'll look at the pros and cons. Fantastic day, but uh, hard, hard graph sketchy clambering up this way. It's a scramble up this way. But in between on the peak, everything's frozen. So even the bits where you think you might be able to kick your foot in, it's, uh, it's frozen solid. So, yeah. But hey, it's all good stuff, innit? I'll also do a review of this Montane smock. Uh, really good bit of kit. No wind today, so I'm going to put my gloves down here. In fact, I'm going to take my rucksack off. Oh, I'll put my gloves in there underneath my ice axe. Oof. Yeah, Montane Smock. Absolutely fantastic bit of kit. I've had this one about maybe five years or more and I've absolutely hammered it. So again, I'm well uh, in a good position to review it. Uh, very similar to the Buffalo Smocks, but this is the Montane. So you've got a Pertex outer which is waterproof initially. You can see it's leak. It's not waterproof anymore, but uh, still does the job-ish. And then you've got a, a pile lining, a fibre pile lining. So a really, really warm jacket. Sometimes too warm for in the mountains, for, for climbing up them. But in conjunction, I mean, today, it was uh, minus one when I set off this morning from the valley bottom. So, so it's cold. You always get a lot of cold on the top of the mountains and all I've got underneath I've got a thin white uh, sort of thermal t-shirt, short sleeve t-shirt and that'll do me for the day, at least this will just stay on all day now uh, venting wise what you've got to do with these, you've got to vent them so you've got a pocket here but if you want it cooler you just leave that pocket open and it'll vent you've also got the side zips when I'm climbing up, I leave them open. When I'm on the top and I want to keep cool, I zip them up. You can also zip them down as well, so you can just leave the bottom fastened. I usually just zip them up, me. And then what I'll do, I'll fasten my rucksack strap underneath here and leave that bit over the top, so it gives me that bit of wafting got an absolute brilliant uh, hood so it's wired at the front gotta watch you don't get your beard stuck in it I mean that is the business yep it's also got a toggle on the back So you can tighten that up as well, if you want to tighten it up. Very rarely I use that hood, unless I'm just uh, unkered down in a bivy somewhere, keeping warm. But yeah, so you've got your extra extra protection on the main wear areas, so like your elbows, foot rocks and stuff. Uh, your Velcro fastenings, yep. You've even got fastenings for your mitts. Uh, pocket at the front, which is not a bad size. Uh, I stick my map in there and other bits and pieces when I'm bushcrafting. I might stick my tinder and stuff in there as I'm moving through the forest. I all I'm always I always I'm always walking just with my hands in there. Yeah, it's a really nice position. Uh, you've got the Velcro fastenings at the sides as well to hunker it down. 
when it's fastened up. I mean, I got this one second hand off uh, eBay, but when you get them brand new, you get a piece that'll fasten from the front to the back, so, it, so you can hold it down, so the wind's not gonna come underneath. Yep, and especially if you're wearing the buff, the Montaigne Salopettes as well. I mean, it warm as toast. But an absolute fantastic jacket for, uh, it's brilliant in a canoe. When you sat around campfire at night and you're not moving, whack this on over the top of the fleece, absolutely toasty. Great jacket for winter conditions. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm just doing a p I'm just doing a piece to camera. My mum's on phone. Yeah, I'm in mountains and my mum's just rung me. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! What a laugh. Yeah, it just shows. Well, you need a, you need your phone on you anyway for emergency reasons, and just in case, you know what I mean. If I was to slip and break my leg, but uh, yeah, it's wild isn't it nowadays. This uh, this world of ours where people can get old, you know, almost anywhere. I'll probably get out a signal before a long light, but uh, still got a signal. I'm in Langdale's Valley, so halfway up the mountain, so still get a signal at minute round here, which is uh, amazing, isn't it, really? But uh, yeah, but Montaigne Extreme, this is the smock, the one you put over your head. Absolutely love it. Fantastic bit of kit, and you can pick them up off eBay for not a lot of money. Brilliant for bushcrafting, brilliant for fishing, brilliant for canoe trips. Uh, even when they're wet, they still stay warm because of this fibre pile inside. Uh, fantastic, just as a pull-on if you've got it in your in your kit, you know, and you're out camp at night. But uh, yeah, I think I paid 35 quid on eBay. They're probably 100 and odd quid now, like. But uh, and it was brand new when I got it. It, it looked like it had never been worn. It was just missing that piece that fastens under your leg. But other than that, and yeah, it's tatty now, like it's full of blooming. But I use it for groveling around, bushcrafting all times, a couple of bits of little burn holes in it from embers and stuff and what have you. But still, go to a bit of kit when it's cold. Right, let's get up the mountain. I think the only one of my fingers is frozen. It's freaking solid. Bad yell. So yeah. Shows your noodles and Examin stoves. So the advantage of the Examin stove is that's it basically. That's your cook set. That's got a bit of food in it as well. So here, I've got some noodles and stuff. I've got a bit of coffee, I've got a spoon, got my mess tins, which doubles my plate plus my cup things. That's your examine stove. So advantages are they're lightweight, there's nothing to them. That's it, that is it with the fuel inside it. Dead easy to use. Pop it open, get your fuel out, light your fuel. Disadvantages. 
or well another advantage <coughs> your fuel burns down to nothing it's lightweight to carry dead simple keeps you warm it's not really affected by the cold whereas some gas stoves are disadvantages it's uh, it's affected by the wind a lot so you need to find somewhere without any wind it's not really something you could use in your tent with the, with the open flames it's uh, the fuel can get quite expensive if you're going through a lot of fuel it's uh, a little bit messy on your pans it can make your pans a bit black and messy like that yeah but uh, all in all I think they're all right I like using them I've used them for uh, over 40 years me now and I've, I've had this particular one for about 10 years so that one's had some hammer and uh, I like using them it's a nice way of cooking your food dead light they're easy to carry I mean that is it you know you know and uh, yeah they're all right but uh, yeah we'll crank some of these noodles up I was tagged to do this one by uh, Bazza from Camp of Antics like I say I don't mind a tag so Bazza tagged me to uh, show us your noodle and he was uh, I think it was started by uh, Rod from Beat Around the Bushcraft Kerwood so two good lads yeah cheers Bazza mate I don't mind a tag then uh, what a great place to be cooking some noodles eh so all you do with these examin stoves find somewhere sheltered out the wind get your examin block lit I use two Two blocks will do the job. Noodles on there. Put your noodles in a small pan and then put your big pan over as a lid. Oh. What I've also got in there, I've got some chorizo in there. So I've got your noodles in there, chorizo in the top. We'll get that mixed up. Oh, anyhow, what a spot, eh? What a spot to be having some noodles. Yeah. So cheers for the tag, Bazzy. You're a good lad. Check him out, Bazzy. Camper of Antics. As an old school camper. Gets out doing a bit of bushcraft. And a bit of kayaking. And Rod, you're a good man too, mate. I've only just uh, hooked up with Rod on YouTube. But uh, looking forward to, look to watching some more of his stuff. Gets out with his daughter and that by the look of it. Need your curry sauce. Good thing about the Examin stove is to warm your hands up as well. The Examin's poisonous though. So if you're a nasty bastard and you're in the army, you can give the foreign kids Examin blocks pretending the Kendall mint cake. <laughs> but nah, it's not ideal. Or if you don't like someone, tell them it's Kendall mint cake. <laughs> but yeah, it's poisonous. Good stuff though. You get like eight tablets for about four quid. This is taking this will take two tablets really. You do this do this with two tablets. It's alright when it's still like today. Let me chew it so I'm moving about. I'll get I'll fry that up a little bit in a minute when my noodles are cooked. Noodles are getting on the way. 
with these you've just got to proper make sure you get a nice flat base or else when they start eating up and they start thawing the floor or whatever they'll soon uh, they'll just fall over to the side and spill your contents so you better get in a rock really put it on a rock Amazing, isn't it? Look at this for a place. Eh? Look at it. What a place to be cooking noodles, eh? Absolute pristine weather. I'm just out at wind here as well. It's absolutely amazing. Noodles are getting there. You've put a bit too much water in there, but. Be all right. Not the best idea to put a knife in your mouth, but you know. Cheers, Bazza. Cheers, Rod. you can see it in uh, 279 or 8 or so I'm just next to this frozen pond here a little time you can just see it there on the snow see it glistening yeah so I'm gonna follow this bit here we're gonna get to high raise 762 mooch up there to high raise probably about it's about a K and a half in it about a K and a half While I'm out here and I'm just bloody wandering along in a world of my own thinking So, I hope you had a top over night mate in West Pennines I know you were out, uh, was it Friday night you were out? I think it might be Friday night, I hope you had a top of man I hope you enjoyed it, yeah? I hope you got wrapped up pal with your, <laughs> with your under, under blanket and that hammer And uh, anyway, ta you know, Baz had tagged me in this one to do this bit of a noodle challenge it's only noodles, not complicated, but I'll do a bit of a tag. But no pressure, lads, if you don't fancy it, you know what I mean. But uh, usual suspects, I think. Mr. Mark Bailey, you love getting out and cooking a bit of scran. Get some noodles on, man. Do a review while you're doing your noodle challenge or something like that. And what about you, Jimmy? Mr. Jimmy Lundy. Always out, mate. Always out. Yeah? You might prefer a big fat juicy steak with some grilled tomatoes and an egg on top than some noodles and what have you mate but uh, yeah get some noodles done while you're out there pal show us your noodles all right lads anyway cheers bazza for uh, tagging me in it and uh, cheers rod for starting it lads look after yourselves fellas let's get a bit more walking done eh bloody great before the sun starts going down it's about 20 to 3 now so i'm right i've got a bit of time left
opened up, the fog came down, it started chucking it down, burning. Zero visibility, it was a bloody nightmare. Good fun though. How still and amazing is this? Stickle time. Looks like it's pretty damn frozen over. That's that climb. Starts at the bottom of the uh, Jack's Rake, straight up. Alright, we're a sketchy day that. Good job Ian Selby can climb. <laughs> Got us out of this shit. The only thing, when you've had your crampons on for so long, they bloody froze on. I could do we uh, we having a piss to piss on them to get them off. <laughs> About right, isn't it? Thanks for joining us. Anyway, catch you again soon. See you later.